Hello everyone, I'm David Shadrick and welcome to Street Level Resources. Uh, this is my first post and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what I call demilitarizing the police. Let's face it, the idea of defunding the police sounds pretty stupid to most people. But defunding the police doesn't really mean defunding the police. So let's call it what we really are looking for, and that's the demilitarization of the police. The reason this is important is because while race is a problem, it's also people who suffer from mental health problems. You know, 13-year-old boys being shot in the back because they're autistic. So it's more what I think we need is instead of the police trained in military SWAT-like tactics, it would be better if they were trained in how to, di um, to de-escalate a psychiatric episode. Um, and I think that would be a better spending of the money. And I think one of the thing I need to, to say is the reason why it's important um, about the demilitarization is, is that I live in Beaverton, Oregon, and when I did research to do this um, presentation for you, I discovered that there are $10.7 million in salvage surplus military vehicles for the police. So what that means is that they are an incredible drain on a police budget because they're not using them, but they have to pay for their storage and occasional maintenance. So, um, of course, my opinion is, is that this money could much be, you know, could be spent much better on mental health. If there is $10.7 million out there, let's not have a liquidation sale, but how about we start um, getting rid of the $10.7 million in excess that we have and put that towards mental health training for the police so that when they respond to someone who's acting childlike and out of touch, their first instinct isn't to reach for a gun and put holes in them. Um, I just think that $10.7 million um, on military vehicles is, is, is why we need to reallocate resources. Again, we will never, ever advocate defunding the police. Um, we aren't interested in anarchy. We're interested in the homeless and the mentally ill, who most of the time, as I've said, are one and the same. We want them safe. When bad things happen, we want good things to happen to bring them back not to have to tell their loved ones that someone has passed away. Um, so I'm just putting that out there. I think uh, I'm inviting discussion with the group. I want you to talk to me about this and what you think. Do you think I'm right that it's not defunding the police, it's demilitarizing them and a shift in assets? So, uh, let me know, because I really think that me demilitarize the police is the call, not defund the police. You all have a nice day, and I'll talk to you later.